perish by sin, by, newness of life ministries www.trcb.me slash noel. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place. For all those who take up the sword shall perish by the sword. Matthew 26 52 This is a general principle. It not only applies to those who commit violent acts against another, but it also applies to those who commit less violent but sinful acts against man and God. Those who kill shall be killed. Those who lie will perish by the lies of others. Those who scheme to take advantage will find their schemes exposed. Those who are prideful will be brought down. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Numbers 32 to 23. This is the principle Solomon is teaching his son in today's proverb. Those that lie in wait to do harm will themselves sacrifice their own lives. Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. Proverbs 1 teaches us today. Proverbs 1 to 18 18. But they lie in wait for their own blood. They ambush their own lives. Psalm 66, 16-20 theme, Come and see what God has done. 16, Come and hear, all who fear God, and I will tell of what He has done for my soul. 17, I cried to Him with my mouth, and He was extolled with my tongue. 18, If I regard wickedness in my heart, the Lord will not hear. 19, But certainly God has heard. He has given heed to the voice of my prayer. 20. Bless be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his loving kindness from me. Today's question. Has your sin found you out? Think about it. Did you get away with sinning in the past? Or so you think? Do you think God has forgotten? Are you suffering the consequences of bad decisions made in the past, even when you were a teenager? Are you really living the dreams of your youth, or have you settled for less? These are all difficult questions. One of the major sins we have all committed is the sin of laziness. I see young people every day settling for less than they could be because they simply do not want to study, preferring to watch TV or play games. So in some cases additional training is not an option relegating them to accept a job below their capability. He has dug a pit and hollowed it out, and has fallen into the hole which he made. His mischief will return upon his own head, and his violence will descend upon his own pate. Psalm 7, 15-16 So many dig pits for themselves with eagerness and vigor. When they fall in, they say, Oh is me! Help me to get out of this dilemma! Or they ask, Where is God? How did he let this happen? God did not let it happen. He sent parents, teachers, coaches, neighbors, friends and relatives to help and their efforts were rejected. It is never too late to ask for forgiveness and to move in an entirely different direction. Make what may be one of the biggest decisions you will ever make. Stop ambushing your life and move in an entirely different direction seeking the help and will of God. Dear God, so many make wrong decisions, commit sins and do not repent or ask forgiveness. Wisdom is completely missing from their lives often appearing only when they are old. Help us all God because none are perfect. Open our eyes. Amen. The Newness of Life Daily Bible Message is designed for those who like to take a short respite from the day's responsibilities to enjoy the contemplation of God's Word. This daily message is based primarily upon the belief that to read some of Proverbs and some of Psalm every day will provide us with great spiritual growth and development when done consistently with discipline. Philip Saxton and contribute to Newness of Life Ministries NOL Philip Saxton, www.newnessoflife.com Philip can be reached at saxtonatemetown.com Music by Kevin McLeod